compromise, we will not compromise. Jesus did not compromise to get people to follow him. That's why so few followed him. Not many followed him. Yet many disciples at some point. But they all left him. And only the twelve remained, which of one denied him. Then he said to him, don't you want to leave me too? Then Peter said, how can we leave you? You got the words of eternal life. You can see that Pope Peter was the spokesman. Amen. An African son of Seva's for people. He was the spokesman. He was always the one speaking. When Jesus said certain things, he was the one answering Jesus. When Jesus was walking on the water, he said, Lord, can I do this too? And he came on the water. So he eventually was the church leader of the church in Jerusalem. He was the chief apostle or the head of the apostles. He was the leader. Together with James and John, but he was the leader. Amen. I said quickly, I teach you quickly about this. This is not the sermon. Just church history is so awesome. Amen. So Peter was the church leader, and you can see the type of person he was. He was a person that walked by faith. I mean, none of the other apostles walked on water. But he did. He saw what his master was doing, and he said, but I'm following my master. I can also do this. And he was walking on the water, and halfway he went down. And he screamed, Lord, help me. Knowing where his help is coming from, he screamed, Jesus, help me. Are you going down? At some point, are you going down in your faith? Are you going down in your hope? You must shout unto Jesus as Peter did. Remember, the one who does not walk by faith is the one who will make no mistakes. Peter was the apostle who made more mistakes than all the others. Why? Ask yourself the question. You will say, oh, this man made too many mistakes. Why did he make so many mistakes? He was up front. He was up front. He wanted to do what his master was doing. Sometimes he moved in the flesh. I mean, he was the only apostle who ever took it upon him to rebuke Jesus. When Jesus said, I'm going to Jerusalem to be crucified, he rebuked Jesus. He took it upon himself to rebuke Jesus. Jesus did not compromise when he turned around. He said, get behind me, Satan, poor Peter. <laughs> I mean, he's the guy up front. He had leader abilities, although just a fisherman. He had leader abilities when he took it upon him to rebuke Jesus. Jesus turned around. I said, get behind me, Satan, because you got the things of man in mind, not the things of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan got the things of man in mind. What is the things of man? Well, that's the nature of Satan. He want to get men to do his will. He's got the things of man on his mind. Amen. So Peter many times made mistakes. You can see Peter could very easily stumble and got hurt. When Jesus, you know, Jesus got hurt too. When these many, more than 70 disciples left him after a sermon they did not understand. They left him. They saw the miracles. They saw him cast out devils. They saw him raising the dead. They saw him healing the sick. Still, they left him because of one sermon. Do you think Jesus felt happy? He was a human being like us. Then he turned around. You can see in his, in his heart, don't you want to leave me too? Everyone is leaving me. Don't you want to leave me too? Then Peter, the upfront one, said the upfront one. <laughs> he said, Lord, how can we leave you? You got the words of eternal life. Now listen to this. Jesus got the words of eternal life. He is the word of eternal life. He gave us in his word the words of eternal life. If we live by them, we will experience eternal life. If we abide by his words, we will experience eternal life. Peter said, how can we leave you? You got the words of eternal life. We got no choice. We know that you are the life that came from heaven. Because you yourself said, Everyone who believes in me will live. Even if he died, he will still live. Hallelujah. Say the words of eternal life. The words of life. 
So Jesus said, I came to give you life and life to the full. If you abide by me, you will experience my life. If you do not abide by me, you will experience death. Amen. Amen. You know, when you start to pray for certain things to happen, normally, when you start to resist the enemy, how do you resist the enemy? The Bible says, resist the enemy steadfast in the faith. And you can have faith in no one else but Jesus. Resist the enemy steadfast in the faith. And he will free from you. Amen. Faith can be in no one else but God. And the one, the sent one, Jesus. Amen. Have faith in God. Resist him steadfast in the faith. And he will flee from you. In the name of Jesus.